As we know, art is a language. What is he telling this man, in your opinion? This man talks to this man. And he's telling them, you see that? Before the booster crows. How many times? You will deny. Very good. Give him a round of applause. And he said, this man says, me, never. So you see how you can tell people a story showing them a piece of art. Because back in those days, people could not read and write. The only way to tell them a story is showing them a piece of art. It can be a painting, a sculpture. Therefore, the church was able to hire the best artists. The best. Leonardo, Michelangelo, etc., etc., etc. Okay? So if we believe that this might be the house, in other words, the church was built over, over the house of... Thank you. We are now going to go down to see the remains of the house. And usually in every king place, usually, or there was always like a dungeon. Okay, so we're going to go all the way down to the dungeon. All good? what we call the cross of Jerusalem. By the way, just one historical piece of evidence. The early church, the early church, meaning just after Jesus' crucifixion, the people who followed him, we lived on Mount Zion. Lived on Mount Zion, and they will be gathering here. I mean, in, sorry, in this area, and they call themselves the poor followers. If you need the poor followers, because indeed they, need, they wanted to live the same life of Jesus, which was, I mean, financially, economically, of course, was poor. Okay? So they had lived in this area. So we are going to continue go down, and I'll take you to the dungeon.
Yes, I think this is the old, this is the, the new church. What do you do? The more you erase it, the more you actually damage it. This could have been seen until on the wall this way. And that wall, when you come down, it's going to be on your right. So when this group is going to be out, we're going to go in. Our leader is going to... Okay. Which one? Which one? Which one? Look, uh, oh, 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 oh. how deep the dungeon is from on top. Is this the one? Squeeze. Squeeze. Is it right now? So this is Chinese, how about it? Some and it's all here uh, in different languages, right? Uh, for the different nationalities that come. I'm trying to look for the English one. Chinese is here as well. Jing Jie, where are you? Um, and remember, this is the place, Kaifer's house. Mm. And we came down from the place where Peter denied Jesus three times. Remember, we were at St. Peter's primacy, right, where Peter was restored. But for what event? For whatever event that happened here, the three times that Peter denied Jesus with cursing and swearing and would have heard Pastor Prince preach on the third time when he was being interrogated, being questioned, being mocked by Caiaphas. Set out, the Bible says he set false witnesses that came to witness against Jesus in a very illegal way. And then after that, he was fully denied. Every single person denied him. And the final denial that he heard was that of Peter, the one who says, 
I will never deny you. I love you. I will never deny you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. But in the very, very hour when it meant the most to the Lord, he was being abandoned. And from on top, he was lowered down. This don't have windows, guys. All these windows were not that is supposed to be a dungeon. And there's not light as well. You've got to imagine that now there's lights and, and there's, there's windows, right? And it's quite okay, quite cozy still. But um, imagine that it wasn't in light. It was pitch darkness. Probably very cold because it was very early in the morning and he was alone. And this is Psalm 88 that I, I read to you. O Lord my God, by day I cry out, at night I clamor in your presence. Let my prayer come before you, incline your ear to, to my call for help. For my soul is surfeited with troubles, and my life draws near to the nether world. I am numbered with those who go down into the pit. I am a man without strength. My couch is among the dead, like a slain who he in the grave, whom you remember no more, and who are cut off from your care. You have plunged me into the bottom of the pit, into the dark abyss. Upon me your wrath lies heavy, and with all your billows you overwhelm me. You have taken my friends away from me. You have made me an abomination to them. I am in prison and I cannot escape. My eyes have grown dim through affliction. Daily I call upon you, O Lord. To you I stretch out my hands. Will you work wonders for the day? Will the shades arise to give you thanks? Do they declare your kindness in the grave, your faithfulness among those who have perished? Are your wonders made known in the darkness or your justice in the land of oblivion? But I, O Lord, cry out to you. With my morning prayer, I wait upon you. Why, O Lord, do you reject me? Why hide from me your face? I am afflicted and in agony from my youth. I am dazed with the burden of your dread. Your furies have swept over me. Your terrors have cut me off. They encompass me like water all the day. On all sides, they close in upon me. Companion and neighbor, you have taken from me my only friend, is darkness. That is probably our Lord's prayer when He was here. Amen. So take a moment, think about His suffering, think about His darkness, that He plunged into the depths of our darkness so as to bring us light. Amen. <laughs> I'm gonna sing again. I wanna sing. <laughs> Enough singing. <laughs> But there is another group waiting there. Oh, yeah. So think about the place. I'm sure you cherish it in your heart, this place. I always like to end the day here. Very meaningful place. As we make our way out. Thank you.
ที่ข้างทาง